it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Because like we in this world, there is so much cynicism, skepticism, materialism, and pain. And yet every night, most people disappear off into some world of wonder <laughs> without question, well, well, where the dead I, can visit you, where your I ego we, roams freely, where your id romps about madly. It's brilliant, the world of dreams. And, and uh, I think we die every night. And there's actually a tribe, actually, which doesn't sleep tries not to sleep they just nap because they say when, well, when you sleep <laughs> we'll when, have a nap when no they're sleep. the Parar tribe I think and they're one of the happiest I'm knackered get up <laughs> but they believe that when you go to sleep actually your old self dies and when you wake up you're reborn and they refer if hey, they do I think fall, they're right this tribe because don't you sometimes wake up and think like there's a bit where you go I don't know who I am actually and then you go you're a ruffle now put your hat on like it takes a little while to reassemble who you are and sometimes yeah, you think I might not bother I'll stay as this guy only nap they only nap, um, um, <laughs> and saying. if they do fall asleep, they only nap. I mean, if they're knackered and they fall asleep for eight hours, they call themselves by a different name. They rename <gasps> themselves. It's a new, You're a new you. Yeah. Where are they? I like the Parar tribe. I, I, if you look it well, up, they're P I South America. I've got yeah. to be Latin American, aren't they? And there's another tribe called the Sanoi tribe where dream interpretation is central, that children from the age of three or four are encouraged in the morning to sit down. The first thing they do is they dissect their dreams because the idea is that if you can control your dream life... But do you, you can think a person can analyse their own dreams? Because yes. you're, isn't it you're trying to analyse it with the analytical tool? Isn't it a bit like a serpent eating its own towel? I mean, when other people tell me their dreams, I think I have a understanding symbolically of what it means and this already has crossed into the realm of science you know Jungian and Freudian analysis mm. is dependent on that and Campbell Joseph Campbell of course says that myths are public dreams dreams are private myths that there's a language of dreams that's demonstrable mm -hmm. all over the world of course whilst there may be some symbols that are personal while there may be some motifs that are residual from the day's activity there does seem to be sort of a common alphabet of dream imagery and of course you've written a, an encyclopedia of dreams there haven't you and i like this idea that when you get up in the morning you just go right yeah, well, yeah. but my dreams they're too amorphous and crazy teresa to like analyze well properly. tell me one of your dreams you get lost on a podcast <laughs> they're actually crackers <laughs> now hold they? on all right well this was a good one thanks for watching this podcast and going all the way to the end of it was you said kind of to click the bell it might not be there because over there and uh subscribing so that we can infiltrate your serenity and peace of mind with jangling bells and buzzes. Thank you. <laughs>